Let's do it to it. What's up, morning, y'all? I mean, it's not. It's morning for somebody. I mean, we have some international people. Ni hao. Okay. Um, that should go to all of you. All you should know what ni hao means. Luch. Luch is here shipping my shirts. We're going to have shirts from the Luch soonish. Uh, we got Sandy Skinks. We got Green Jedi Monkey. We had Moon for a minute. He might still be here lurking. We got somebody else just popped in. So this is good. I don't have my glasses on tonight, guys. I'm fighting a migraine. So you might notice uh, eventually that that's happening. We might cut it short. We might see. Um, it's, it's been with me all day, and it's been a real beast. So um, anyway, uh, Tennyson couldn't make it tonight. He's having some family issues too. All these young people and their families, uh, I'm praying for him, okay, or to whoever. Pray for him too, to, for, to whoever, the universe, God, um, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, whoever you want. So <laughs> whoever you, Buddha, I don't, I don't really care who you do it to. Um, honestly, I think it all kind of goes to the same place. But um, hey, buggy people, Lori, Laura Taylor, damn Tennyson, looking forward to this one. Well, we're still going to talk about it. So because um, he <laughs> I, I was not prepared for the information he gave me. I thought it'd be really funny to uh, not look at the information he gave me until showtime. Um, and I was right. I was kind of right because it was really funny. And I laughed really hard when I looked at this expansive list. Um, I asked Tennyson, who uh, is in the process of making a list of all the species of isopod in the hobby, known species, because as we all know, we talked about it before, there's a big problem with classification right now. So um, a lot of things are misclassified, unclassified, um, too classified. Uh, some things are winding up in an ex-president's bathroom. Um, sorry, that was super, I don't know if you guys are as online in the news as me, but that was, that was kind of a super inside political joke. Um, classified documents in a bathroom that that was it okay so that's the only joke um for all my friends and family their families yeah yeah man pray for everybody uh tennyson is doing amazing work so anyway uh i had him send me a list and we were going to list off species basically um in the hobby because i'm behind right so i think the last thing i looked at was marinella uh marinella marinella it's spelled wrong in my brain what you're here, uh, Tennyson. I'm about to embarrass myself. Actually, I'm kind of glad you're not here because I wouldn't be doing this justice with the brain issue that I'm having right now. So migraine. Hopefully it's just a migraine. Or you guys might get to see an actual brain bleed on TV. That'll bump the numbers. That'll, <laughs> that'll bump it up. No, I'm not doing that. That's not where we're at. I'm teasing. Um, I even put my juglone in Latin for you guys. So you can see my Latin species right there. That's me um, in Latin. So you can read it out with a funky name or whatever. Um, also jokey. Um, yeah, Tennyson, we're, we're praying for you. And thanks for this list that I had no idea. You said it would take at least two episodes and I blew you off. And you were you were not wrong, my friend. So, uh, oh, Moon is still here. Um, so yeah, you were not wrong. It is, it is a lot, my friend. Uh, me too, Luch. Thank you. So, um, there's a lot of stuff on there that I had no idea existed. There's a lot of species listed on the list. You can check the link in the link below and follow along. Um, there's a, a document that I got permission from Tennyson to post. This is his compilation. As far as I know, his compilation of species, uh, he's verified a bunch of them personally. Um, and done a lot of the research on his end, him and, uh, Blastcat, I believe he's been working with Blastcat on a lot of this. So, um, it's been a real good project for the both of them. So those guys are both pretty awesome additions to the hobby for sure. In the last, well, 10 is in the last year or so, I think that I know of, um, primarily based off old AIMG list. Hey, whatever, man, it works. There's a ton in there. Uh, I hope Adinda is on there. That's a new genus I've been seeing lately. Adinda. I mean, check it out. Maybe I haven't seen them. I don't know what they are. So. Uh, turns out, if you look at the list, Marinella, Mar Marinella, they're not really Marinellas. <laughs> like 90% of the ones that we see, no, it's not. Nope. Um, there were a lot of surprises on the list. So looking it over, uh, here, okay, let's get back to the start. Okay, before we get into the list, you guys choose for me. Am I having the orange bag of chips or the blue bag of chips tonight? There's a, there's a blue bag of chips. And there is a orange bag of chips. 
I got these at Home Goods. I don't know if any of you shop at Home Goods. That might be a spoiler. It might not. So do I want blue or orange? Um, and then, well, you decide that, and we'll vote. Ooh, Sandy's putting on blue for blue tongue. Blue for blue tongue. All right. <laughs> blue. We get a lot of votes. Well, two votes for blue so far. Okay, one orange. All right, good. Let's keep track. Love those grizzly bear just because of the name. I use them. I need them so bad. I don't know about a grizzly bear. Is that one of the ones that Jedi was just talking about? Orange all day. I got two and two. All right, cool. We got eight people. We could have a tie. Adinda, the grizzly bear. Adinda, grizzly bear. I need to check those out. Okay, orange and blue. Let's keep track here. We'll get everybody in. One, two, one, two. Even though Sandy voted five times. Um. Oh, cool. So we're going to look at those. Blue goes with the blue shirt. Oh, yeah, I do have the blue shirt. What do I have on today? I don't know. Let's take a look. R2-D2. There you go. R2-D's boobies. That was Okay, that was funny. That was lowbrow. All right, so blue for moon. Benny is another legend in the pods. Who's Benny? I don't know who that is. Okay, so we got two and three and some creepers. So um, before I get into the chips, we also have cheer wine. I've never had cheer wine. I've heard good things. So hopefully it keeps me cheery. Um, it's a soda. It's not a wine. So we'll see. I'm guessing it's going to be like a cherry-ish Dr. Pepper. I don't know. Um, so we'll see. We'll see in a minute. And we're going to see. <laughs> I'm really hoping <laughs> that the chips, whatever chips I get here, uh, one I suspect would go good with the cheer wine. The other one, uh, no. The other one, no. Benny Castle, I'm writing that down. I love legends. I'm gonna, I might start interviewing people just to see their resume. So, uh, Blue Beanie. Oh, that was you again. That was you again, Moon. Cheater. Um, so, what we have, the Blue Beanie is an amazing wrestler. Okay. Here's the species I knew. Okay. And this is uh, Genesis. I think I'm going... Species is very specific. I think I'm going genus. Is that where I'm at? I'm so bad at science, like actual science. It's like species and then, so, so, Paracai is the species. Armadillidium is the genus. Is that, is that how it is? I need to get that anagram down or that, uh, that phonetic thing that trickles them all down. Anyone? Anyone? It's genus? I think it's genus. Man, I look really dumb. I look really dumb on my own show without a guest. Cheer wine is South Carolina drink, like a sweeter Dr. Pepper. Oh, Jesus. It will list the family and amount in it, then list genus and species. The family, genus, species. Okay, so so yeah, so we're going with genus, right? So armadillidium would be the genus, and then paracai would be the species. Okay. Oh, hey, Fishy, how you doing, bud? Agnaridae, Agnaridae will be the family, for example, if you think, if you look at that document. I have the document pulled up. Um, I have my own list first. We're going to go on my own list first. This is what I thought existed. Okay, this is the last time I checked in. I forgot about, but I had to add one species. Uh, I, I learned some things, too. We're going to go over. So, armadillidium. Okay, million species of armadillidium, right? Uh, the actual species and not just uh, morphs. Okay, these are like actual, like destroy, paracai, uh, all these other guys. Okay, uh, the, the vulgari. Vulgari is like, has a lot of ranges, though. So, I feel like maybe they're going to get split up a little bit. Um because I feel like they probably branched off already, right? We'll talk about that another day. There's just too many. Uh, so then we had armadillo. I didn't know that armadillo was more species than aficionalis. So I have to go back and look at that list. We'll look at that in a minute because I thought that that was it. It was just aficionalis. That's what I liked about them is they were one and done. Um, but that's not the case. So, oh, these are all species in the hobby, by the way. These aren't just worldwide. This is just in the hobby. Okay. Uh, Venezillo. Okay, I knew there was Parvis. No, I guess there's a bunch more. Uh, Troglodilus. I still have to track down the species that I had. They had the same markings as clowns. If you know what I'm talking about, let me know. They looked, they're about the size of like a Pruinosis, which is another one. Um, a little bit bigger than a Pruinosis, but they had the flatness of a Porcelio and they uh, uh, had markings. Oh, Glitter Star. Hey, Glitter. Oh, blue. Shit. All right, so it's another blue vote. Um, probably get a lot more now that I said shit. So <laughs> I just, I just don't think the blue is going to go good with the cheer wine, but <laughs> fingers crossed. Maybe I've never had this flavor of anything before. So we'll see. 
And I've eaten a lot of things. I've never had this flavor before. So I'm hoping. I won't know if it's accurate or not. I'll just be trying it. Um, dudes, Giant Canyons. I can't remember the genus that they're in. I cannot remember it to save my life. Like, what is the Latin for the Giant Canyons? Um, there may still be some down here. We'll see. Um, Porcelio. Okay. Lots of Porcelio. Um, Pruinosis. We talked about that. Cubaris, obviously. Cubaris. Uh, Marinala. Um, apparently Marinala is like the next Cubaris. Everything's coming in. Porcelio dilatatus. Okay. So they are Porcelio. I was thinking they're too chunky to be Porcelio, but that's fine. One of my favorites too. Uh, they don't get enough respect because they're so common and easy to breed and bulletproof. They are just bulletproof. You can just neglect the crap out of those. Don't do it, but you, you could, and they'd be fine. Um, Oniscus. Oniscus is a big one. That, that came up all of a sudden. Like I feel like Oniscus just came out of nowhere with a million morphs, and I don't know how people do it, but more power to you. Like It seems like it happens really, really fast. Um, and Hilaria, Hilaria brevicornis, right? That's the only one that I, that's the only one that's listed in the, in the list, which I'm taking as fact. I've only been on for three and a half minutes, four minutes. I'm talking super fast. All right. Well, it looks like the blue bag of chips won. I'm going to try the cheer wine first because I'm going to get that going. All right. Oh, shoot. This won't. Armadillo officinalis. That's our, that's our Gordon. Gordon is an officinalis. My officinals are doing great, by the way. They're doing really, really good. They hit that mark where they're not just breeding slow. My uh, The Orange Crush. This smells exactly how I thought it would. Yes, this is exactly what I thought. It's like cherry or like Dr. Pepper with more cherry. I don't know if that's good or not, but uh, if that's a good thing or not. But let's see. All right. Here we go, guys. First taste, South Carolina. We'll see if you're worthy. Huh. This is what I feel like old tonic. Like if you got a tonic from one of those those cart guys, they're like, ah, this will build your build your muscles, make your bones strong, give you a mustache on your knees. That kind of guy, right? That's that's the guy. It's pretty good. I don't think it's sweeter. I don't think it's sweeter than Dr. Pepper. It's got that cane sugar in it though, which is better than the better tasting. It doesn't taste chemical, right? Um, once they say unconfirmed, active colonies are going to be species that have been basically purely wild caught, have been able to get captivity bred, captivity bred, yeah, or we're lost in culture. Oh, and there's a lot that are coming down the pipe that aren't actually verified as species yet or und undescribed. So a lot of the spiky ones, a lot of the bumpy ones, I call them brailopods, because <laughs> why not? Yes, sir, grow a mustache on your knees. Get those ladies bouncing. Mustache rides, five cents on your knees, on your knees. <laughs> I need more guests more often. I need a Tennyson as a guest to keep me on the rails. Um, so yeah, that's a species that I had. Um, I didn't know that there were this many. So, and this many that were wrong. Ah, oh, Christ. Now we're, okay, we're really getting into this blue. All right, that's five to two. Nobody's guessed orange. Nobody's asked for orange yet. And I think Justin only did it to be contrary. All right, so it is. Good Lord. It's caviar flavored. Okay. It's caviar flavored potato chips. So I don't, I don't know what the smell is going to be. I don't know what the taste is going to be. I'm so scared. I'm so scared, you guys. These are at Home Goods, which is going to be. Oh, I won't even open this. Is, okay. All right. I'm not breathing in. I'm not breathing in. There we go. I'm going to breathe in right now. They kind of taste like saw. They kind of smell like sawdust a little. They don't really smell like anything. I expected like a really fishy, funky smell. All right, here we go. They look okay. Got a good bite. A little bit fishy. Not bad. Just like kind of a weird barbecue flavor, kind of. Black caviar. These are golden crisps. Golden crisps from Home Goods. I don't know where they got them, but they also had the other one is uh, ham. It's Spanish ham. So like, uh, I, it, what is that one ham? 
I can't think. I can, dude, my brain is gone. Where do you come up with this shit? <laughs> I appreciate that you spelled shit with the symbols. That's really cool. I've been doing that forever, and I like when other people do it. Yeah, fishy, just the way you like things. It's, yeah, it's a little fishy. I wouldn't say it's like shrimp chips. I expected it to be more like a really bad shrimp chip, which I'm addicted to now, by the way. So thank you, whoever sent me the, uh, oh, it's my relative, sent me a box of Asian snacks. And uh, they kind of have it going on. Um, yeah, but a lot of our stuff's going to be coming from home goods now. But anyway, I'm going to enjoy these. Let's get into these, and they're probably going to go good with the cheer wine. So, let's get into this list. This list attempts to create a comprehensive catalog of all known Orniscadae species that have been kept in the hobby. Ah, so Orniscadae is like a family. This list serves as a reference guide to hobbyists, researchers, and educators to understand the diversity of isopod taxa that have been introduced into the hobby. This list will be continuously updated. I don't know, my glasses looks like updated. Continuously updated as new information becomes available and more species are introduced. So Agnara. Agnara has, a, a, um, here's my Latin coming out. So there's species from Madagascar, I'm going to guess, because that's Madagascaresis. Shoot, I need my glasses more than I thought. Let's see. And they're smudged. Okay. Madagascaresis. Madagascar Arensis. There we go. That works. And Hispida. Hispida. That was more Spanish. Um, but yeah, okay. I see that. I don't know what these are. I'm going to have to look a lot of these up because I have no idea. I see there's other clue guy. Is that, that must be a region in Spain, I'm guessing. Oh, you don't have to modify it, Tennyson. I think it's good to have that on the top, the header. Um, as like a disclaimer of where it is, what it's for. Um, it gives a good purpose. Just having a list would be real weird. Ignatide. Ignatide. Hey, there's Lucia Ciotis. Um, nipple niscus. Mongol. Mongoliniscus. Nippoliscus. Nip Nipponicus. Nipponicus. Unconfirmed. All right. Um, oh, these also have the wild caught colonies. So I'm guessing those are from Mongolia. Orthomeptin, planum. That doesn't even seem like a isopod name. Like <laughs> Orthomeptin <laughs> sounds more like a robot. I am Orthomeptin. Uh, Thai tiger. Ah, uh, okay. I've seen the Thai tiger. So Tennyson's on, but not on. I get it. I get it. Nipple pods. We need some nipple pods in the hobby. And then we got what? Pro Protegianiscus. I don't see any. Uh, I think they call them just species as a cop out. Why do they do that, Tennyson? Why is it just like Armadillidium species? Why is that? Yeah, there's a little, uh, the blog spot was good. I'll put the link for that in there too. So are you guys following along? Is that why you're not reacting? Great acting. <laughs> it's not acting. That's Latin, baby. That's Italian Latin. They're undescribed or unidentified. Okay, so officially, officially undescribed. I can describe them. I just named pods today. Tennyson should, I should get paid for it. And he's freaking right. Chunky boys, what do we name them? Chunks? Chocolate chunks? Something I forget. Anyway, we named a new species that no one's ever seen before. Tennis and I were the first ones to actually see it, as far as I know. I can say that all the time. Okay, so we have Alaniscidae, Alaniscus, uh, pervenvex, perven, perconvexus, not perven, not pervenvexus, Alaniscus species, Alaniscus species. See, this is where common names come in. Armadil Armadilla Day. Here we go. There's a lot in there. Okay. Acanthadillo. And then Armadillo. So we have, what, nine species of Armadillo. Tuberculatus. Nobody wants that in their house. 
Zanzibar aficionalis. Now, okay, I know there's aficionalis like Spain and um, what is it, Spanish and Italy? Is that the other one? I don't remember what the Greece. Maybe it's Greece. Spain and Greece. Um, the robot voice. <laughs> I like a robot. I do all kinds of voices, you guys. I just don't use them on the show that, that much. Sicily. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So Italy and Greece. Um, so I just know that those are regions, though. I didn't think those were species. But apparently we have a whole bunch of them. Um, Alevi, Almerius, Albo, Album <laughs> Marginatus. Wow, that's that's a mouthful. Um, Hirsutus, that's like a hairy. Would that be a hairy ice pod? Star Sky Armadillo. All right, we're going to talk later and we're going to find out where these are all at because if there's an armadillo, Star Sky, I, I need that in my life. Or I need to at least see it. So I'm going to be Googling like a crazy person. Barnardillo Barnardi. <laughs> Barnardillo Barnardi. Okay, I need that too. I need it just because that's the stupidest name I've ever heard. Does anybody else think that Barnardillo Barnardi is the best? That Oh my God, that's... I need that on the t-shirt. Some goofy ass. I need to draw that. Barnardillo... Oh, my God. Before I even see it, I need to draw that. Okay. Unfortunately, going to have to check out now. Definitely be on all the time. Cool, man. We'll come in to talk some stuff. Me some pods. I think it should be illegal for anyone to be outside of EST. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. Uh, I'm a Midwesterner. Tried and true. I'm I'm a per, 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 permanent, uh, per, 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 permanent uh, tourist. Tenerillo Guadalupe. <laughs> Guadalupe. Really? Guinensis. Uh, Tenerillo. 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 All right. We have all these Cubaras that are different. Uh, 1916 they've been naming these since 1916. Okay. So there's... We're assuming that all of these are different. By the way, uh, I don't know if you guys have been watching, but I've been obsessed with naming an isopod a bumblebee. Apparently, I didn't know there's a bumblebee cubaris. And uh, it looks like crap. Um, it just looks like a rubber ducky with a dot on its head. Um, so, like, just a little smudge, like it's celebrating Ash Wednesday or some bullshit. So... Uh, it's trash, but there is a spiky isopod now. One of the one of those really cool, like exaggerated spiky spiky isopods that's yellow and black banded, and it's named Bumblebee. And the bands are perfect, and it's a better color, and it's the official Bumblebee isopod of Iso Buddies. I will not recognize the Bumblebee Cubaris because it is trash, trash. Uh, zebra can be yellow zebra. I don't. I don't care. It can be yellow zebra now. That's fine. It it is. I'm past it. I won't call them that, but it can. I'm past it. Okay. Uh, I was stationed in Cali for about three or four years. Prefer Michigan. Michigan is dope. Michigan is dope. If you're near Grand Rapids, go hit up Two Beards Deli. Tell them I sent you. It won't get you anything, but uh, a weird look because those guys are too hip. But it's pretty awesome. Um, okay, so back to the list. There are a lot of Cubaris listed here that I want to see what they actually look like. There's a goldfish, there's crystal clear, dark fipoon. That sounds like like somebody in an anime. I am dark fipoon. You cannot defeat me, for my sword skills are the best, and I am the best at sorting. Dwarf ducky, giant mandarin, green laser, happy happy nun. <laughs> Guys, is there a happy nun? Is there? <laughs> now there has to be an angry nun. Is there an angry nun? Did I pass it? Angry monk. Angry monk. Happy nun. Huh. Huh. There's a story there. Uh, hippo. Hong tiger. Hung tiger. Hung tiger would be funnier. Um, firefly. Okay, I've seen those. I like those. 
Ishigaki. Jupiter, Kazan Honey, Lan Lansaka Tiger, Lemon Blue, blah, 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 Mandarin. All right, now I gotta look up Mandarins. Orange Tiger, Surat Tani, Opal. I'm, I'm curious about this Crystal Clear. I'm not looking it up now, but uh, R13, R13 Cubaris. That sounds really, really awesome. Salmon, Salmon Orange. <laughs> Stingray, White Angel, White Shark, White Tiger, Yellow Tiger, lots of tigers. I still don't understand the pigeons, but speaking of happy nuns, I heard a story about an infant boy raised in a convent in the hills. No women were ever allowed in the monastery. He died in his 80s, never having seen a woman. I wonder what that would have been like. Like, I want to read his memoirs. We have a customer at the bank who, uh, people at a bank, like if you're in a bank, uh, you are, I'm going to tell you, you are... Um, not obligated, but compelled to tell your bank employee, the teller, whoever, wildly personal things about yourself for no reason. So let it out. Just let it out. Everyone does it. So just boom, just tell them like, I thought I was gay in college. Like, just do it. Just come out. Just tell them. They'll, they'll understand. They will, they will totally be interested in what you want to say. And they will talk about it for hours afterwards. Case in point. So this young man, he's awkward, right? Weird little dude, whatever. He's nice, so whatever. Um, he was going to the Pride Parade, and I was like, that's awesome, man. Good for you. Like, show support. That's really good. In Chicago, okay? Um, we're not in Chicago. It's going to be a bit of a drive. Oh, great, he says. Then he says, <laughs> I'm asexual. I don't absolutely know what that means. Here's my ignorant assumption, and I don't care. I don't be what you want to be. I have no, I do not care. So my assumption is you just don't care about sex whatsoever. You don't care. So my response to this young man in my bank with other customers around who heard him say this at full volume that he was asexual, uh, I said, man, I wish I would get so much done. <laughs> the entire bank fell out. It, it was pretty great. It was a great comedic moment. And uh, I was dead serious. Like, <laughs> that, was, that was not a joke. <laughs> that was my honest, open immediate reaction. Yeah. I like $200 in cash in tens, please. So did I tell you about the time that, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. that's exactly how it goes. Mies Pods, you nailed it. Um, kicked from a few discord servers for not understanding the aspect of the movement. So I just try not to talk about it, which some also say, yeah, I don't know, man. Sexuality is a real hot, hot button right now. So I just admit that I don't understand it. Um, and I don't, I don't need to, I don't need to understand it. All of it. I just need to respect people for who they are. Like, it doesn't matter to me what you're into, what you're not into, as long as it's not something that's like kids. I don't, you know what I mean? Like, I, not something absolutely abhorrent. Like, don't be into anything abhorrent, okay? So, but uh, other than that, like, just be you. I don't care. It'll be weird to me. I don't, I don't understand it, but I don't have to, okay? Doesn't matter. I can, I can be, it doesn't matter to me. So, but yeah, the asexual thing, I still don't understand it. Don't explain it, because I, I, again, I don't care. Oh, here we go. Attracted to boys or girls, not attracted to the body part, more just attracted to them emotionally. Yeah, see, so not sexual. You can be attracted to things, like, you know, just looked up the crystal clear. Uh, they look like brown ice pods. <laughs> <laughs> How much are they, Laura? How much are they? Uh, I'm autistic, if I don't understand something I ask. I'm not autistic, I don't think, but I ask too. Um, here's what, here's what I would do me. So, or anyone else, if you're asking a question like that, just be like, Hey, I'm not trying to offend you. I just, I'm ignorant. I don't understand. I don't know. So I have questions. If I get offensive with my questions, please let me know. But they honestly are just coming from, I, I want to know something. I'm not judging. I just want knowledge. I want to, I want to get rid of my ignorance. That has saved me a lot of hard discussions. Um, and then if they talk to you, like you're ignorant for a minute, that's fine. Cause you are. All right. Back to the list. Um, other things I don't understand. Cubaroides. Cu cubaroids. There's there's none. There's just cubaroid species. So that's got to be something. Um, we're not going to the details of these guys. So we got Dryadillo. Dreams. Dry Dryadillo Crystal Wing. Now, I, I think if you haven't watched the episode with Ben Quintana, Ben has been to Thailand and other places and made a lot of um, contacts there. So he can 
get on spots, get them caught. So if you find them and discover a new species, you get to name it. That's the rule, right? That's the rule. We all know that. So these guys in Thailand, they just name it things they think are cool. They don't name it like based on what it is. It's like vaguely based on what it looks like. So the common name is just vaguely, loosely based on what it looks like or just something they think is cool. So, hey, go discover some ice pods. $50 for brown ice pods. That's for the, like, completest Pokemon guy. Yep. Okay. I need to sell us out on the bikes this year. That was a bummer. Coca-Cola. Yeah, you could have a Coca-Cola. He said there's going to be ice pods. He said there's kids there named porn. Because they just name their kids what they think is cool and what they're into. So there are definitely, every episode with Ben is cool. He's he's a great dude. If you see him at a show, just give him a hug. Just don't even ask permission. Just do it. So, okay, ask permission. Like, consent is important. But he'll give you one. And it's going to be one of the best hugs you ever got. Just roll with it. Just go with it. Be a little gay with it. Like, if you're a dude. Like, but, but what I mean by that is, like, be uncomfortable a little bit by yourself. It's going to be worth it. Okay? It's going to be worth it. Um, what's up, Beetle? All right. Filipino Dillo. I wonder where they're from. <laughs> marbled Giant. Bakoy Marbled Giant. And Beng, Bengue. Bengue. Bengue Spike. I'm guessing that T is silent. But it's incorrect. The identification is incorrect. All right. Formicillo Zamiri. Gabunillo, most individuals in the hobby under the name Gabunillo are Illumoides. I know I'm saying that wrong. Uh, it's unknown if any true Gabunillo species are in the hobby. Hypodillo. We need to get them in the hobby. What's the problem? They're ice pods. They've probably been. That other one was discovered in 1916 and categorized. Come on, man. Loreola. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> This is a very toilet-minded uh, episode here. We have L'Oreola Ivies, L'Oreola White Skull Spikies, L'Oreola Bivomer, Silvatica. Synonyms, Black Skull Spiky, Puffer Fish, Hellraiser. Okay, so these are probably one of the, these are the spiky guys. Okay. And they're named L'Oreola. Possibly two different species being sold as one. Durian, Bumblebee. Yes. Yes, that L'Oreal species bumblebee is the one I'm talking about. Um, hopefully, we get them bred in the hobby soon. Uh, Ed, Eddie, I'm looking at you. Eddie Lopez. He's the guy I know. Okay, so Marilun, Marilun, Marulana by Carinata. Those are, okay, those are just scientific names. I'm guessing they're not super popular um, or not really out there yet. So... These probably don't have the colors that are previously known as Marinella species had. Uh, Nesodillo. Now, okay, guys, I thought more were Mesodillo. Am I crazy? Gigamorphus Rambambasham did not make the list. Uh, I have to find my rough sketches of that. <laughs> yeah. Tell him Josh sent you. Yeah, definitely. Tell him Josh sent you. Actually, tell him Johanna sent you. He keeps forgetting my name is Josh. So, um, <clears throat> Oh, Miso, you're going to pick names? Um, that's kind of my jam, so uh, step off. That's my business. Naming pods is, uh, we'll get together. We'll name pods together. Um, we'll get a crew together that gives common names to isopods that are awesome. Guys, but seriously, I thought there were more Nesodillo species. Am I crazy? Like, all of a sudden, Nesodillo was, like, everywhere. That's all anybody was talking about. And there's one thing on this list listed as Nesodillo. I thought it would be, like, 10 at least. Because all of a sudden, Nesodilla was everywhere. And I think that's part of what they think the jokes of me. <laughs> yes. You, you might not even know that. <laughs> His food is really good. Like, if you get that, guys. Um, reminds you of a down-to-earth, not pretentious Pat Oswalt. I'll, I'll take that. I like me a Pat Oswalt. He's kind of got similar cheeks and jowls. Um. But I would definitely uh, be interested to know where all these Nesodillo species went because I was under the impression that, like, that's all anybody talked about. Like, I wasn't really into it when Nesodillo came out. So it was a little wild to me. Uh, Pucker, 
par paracarmania. Paracarmania. Okay, pseudo diplo exochus. Something quite atrocious. Okay. Um, per per pergoniscus. Pergoniscus. Re reductoniscus. I bet they're really small. Or do you think reductoniscus is really small? There's a tuberculatus again. Stop naming these things tuberculatus. It's not good. Josh could be my grandmother. Okay. All right. That's I've never heard that before. Um, I can't bake. I don't know if that helps me not be a grandmother, but <laughs> I'm not a good baker. Um, Josh could be my grandmother. Bila, you are a weird dude. I love it. Sinodillo, China, Vietnam. Okay, so we kind of know where those are from, I hope. Spherillo grossus. <laughs> These are the best. Spherillo grossus, obscurius, Raphaeli. And then there's just species. Species one, species two, Batik and Cagajoso. I hope I said that. Tragladillo, I still don't know which one I have. So there's camouflage, cave ducky, green spot. Scarlet tiger? I'm going to guess it was a Scarlet Tiger. I don't know. I got them from years ago, from when I first got in the hobby, from uh, Isopod Chick. But I haven't seen them back on her page, but I don't go that much. I'd like to get them again. I didn't really have any success, so I know for sure I was keeping them wrong. If anybody else has used has, has kept Troglodillo uh, out of the eight of you that are here, let me know. So I'd like to know how to keep them better. I know the Spikies have been a little difficult. Uh, there's Venicillos with a bunch. Uh, there's a lot of Armadillidae species that are don't have a genus yet. So this is a lot of the Gators, Draco, a lot of the, the bumpy ones, right? Some of the Spikies. Like the Spikies with the ridges, I think, are these guys. Stego Spiny. Yeah, Stego Spiny is a good name. Keep that, guys. I totally uh, love that guy. Okay, and then the Mer Merulinella. Merulinella. Tricolor, scarlet, bicolor, black hole, crimson Diablo, Diablo, Ember Bee, Firewing Lava, blah, 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 blah. Pretty much everything that we're paying $500 for a six count right now is unidentified, technically. Pink Lambo. There you go. Pink Lambo is kind of a dope name for a really expensive isopod. <laughs> Quads color. That's like uh, you're trying to merch the, the isopod. I'm not a fan of that name, but... If you made it up, uh, good for you. I don't know. I, I'm not a fan. Red antenna, volcano. <clears throat> How do we feel about that? I like some of those green spots. Yeah, green spots are cool. They look so much better in person. I saw them at a show. Like somebody brought a, a thing of full size, like adults. I think it was um, Rachel from Pet Peds and Pods. Obscure Obscurios. <laughs> Got some Tice Biggins that are awesome. That's awesome, Luch. I've heard a lot of the spikies, like especially the the really spiky guys, the areola ones, are really rough to breed. Now we're into the Armadillidium. This is all the guys that we've all got. Uh, Clue Guy, Maculatum, blah, 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 Nasatum. Armadillidium is huge. Paracai. I want to know what defining factors make them Armadillidium and nobody else. Albania, Albania Big Black. Versicolor, Vulgari. There's a lot of questions I have about this more than, I have more questions than answers here. Caucasus. Caucasus? Caucasus. Cookies and Cream, Croatian Marble. There's just a million. There's just a million. Which brings us to Christarma Delidium. That sounds like a He-Man villain. Armadillium Rafoy is one I'd like to see more of. Higher humidity. Yeah, that's what somebody was saying. Um, well, the, the extremely spiky ones are more arboreal too, which is kind of cool. Uh, Tennyson couldn't make it, Beetle. You'll have to look at the description or whatever. Uh, I posted up on Facebook too. He had some stuff. He was here for a minute. Um, he's got some stuff going on that way more important than the show. So, 
yeah, if you're watching this and you want to be a guest sometime on the show, uh, cancel everything you're doing for that whole week so it doesn't bother us, so we don't get mixed up in that. So we've got to keep the show separate from real life, so we'll just cancel everything. So my daughter's up there right now with a broken leg. I gave her some Benadryl, children's Benadryl, out like a light. So we'll worry about that in about an hour. Uh, no, she's fine. She's in bed. I'm not an abuser. I'm just a uh, uh, mind in the gutter. Uh, what do we got here? A kind armadilidium. A kind armadilidium. I want to say that that reminds me of echidna. I wonder if they're spiky. I don't know. A lot of these I have never seen and don't know about, and I would love to hear what they actually look like. Trichodilidum, dilidium, pubescence. Okay, all right. Sounds like an STD, but okay. Uh, Bathy tropidae. This shows what I know about, like, Latin. Is a, <laughs> I just am putting words together. No species in commerce. No species in commerce. Okay, don't care then. So this this so it is so so sidicoides so it is so it is to I don't know I give up solisticus parasolisticus par parasolisticus without genus delatoriede oh there we go delatoriede I think I got it I think I <laughs> did I nail that one. Or the nice Spanish spikes. Okay, okay. Let's see. There you go. We're learning some stuff. Pseudarmadillo. Pseudarmadillo was another one that I thought would have 50 species, and there's like four. So because everybody was like, Pseudarmadillo, um, or Pseudarmadillo, Detonade. Detonade also sounds like samurai name. That's really cool. Dubianiscade, Ubelide. Ignamba, uh, Mesarmadillo, these other guys, Zeroniscus, Zeroniscus, those are, those are deeply Asian species, yeah, Dofar Oman, maybe, maybe Middle East, that sounds more Middle Eastern in these common names, Al Wusta and Dofar Oman, uh, sorry, if you just tuned in, we're following along on the link that's in the description of the video with the, uh, list this crazy list of species. Um, Irma, Irma Sede, Ligiede, Ligia, Ligidium, Olibrinidae. There's a lot of these that don't have a thing. I like that they're included. Oniscus also got like four species. <laughs> so it must be like a billion morphs that these guys have. Philoscidae has a few. Australophiliscidae. I was hoping <clears throat> those are like not Australopithecus, but like Australian. I want to see more Australian isopods. Platyarthus. I've heard about those. Is it? That's not the Hoffman Sagai. No, it's not the same thing. There's another Hoffman Sagai. So this guy must be out there just discovering stuff. Uh, Agabiformius. 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 Leptotrichus, Lucasius, Porcelio. Here we go. We got a million Porcelio species here. And there's Hoffman Sege. Hoffman Sege. Okay, so it's double, double Hoffman Sege. And then there's Hoffman Sege Sordidus. 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 There we go. I don't know what those are either. Uh, I don't even know what page we're on. We're on Porcelio. Oh, here we go. 17. We're almost through them. We need to redo. We need some picks, but I don't know about picks for each. We'll be here for like a week because I'll have comments for each one and renaming each one. As soon as I see picks, I start to judge the names. All flavored margaritas are here. Hasi. Hasi's one I never got into. They're like slimy, kind of. Marcelio Lepinier, Morocco. Yeah, I feel bad. This episode is me just reading weird names. Porcelionides. Porcelionides? Porcelionides. Sounds like a vitamin. 
Proporcelio. Thermocelio. That's... <laughs> we need some of that up here right now. It's like four degrees out here right now. Which if you're in Canada, that's pretty warm. Well, for right now... Slimy? Maybe they're slimy. Hey, Kate. It does say juggalo something. It does. <laughs> it sure does. Thermocells? Yeah, I think it would just keep you warm. I don't know. Like, do they jiggle and keep you warm? Scoblide. Scoblide. All these double eyes together make me laugh every time. Sclero today. No. Nobody cares. There's no species in commerce. Okay. Adinda. And Protoragia, Protoragia, Jacob Sony. Okay, that guy's been around. A lot more that aren't in production. Okay, Trichilopodidae, Trichilopodidae, Trichilopodidae. There we go. All right, so that's that's pretty Greek, right? Nagaris Porcelium, Trichilopis. Uh, yeah, there's too many. I have no idea what they're talking about. So that was our list. Uh, Hilaria brevicornis. Brevicornis is at the bottom. So it's part of this uh, Tylos teliidae. So there's granulatus, uh, gran granuliferous, and ponticus. And then you have Hilaria brevicornis there as one of the families. Um, ostensibly the biggest land. Trichinosis pods, yes. We're going to throw some Fago in here. Uh, we can do that. We can do that. We, we're eating caviar chips, Katie, and you missed it. Oh, shit. We're dropping caviar chips. Oh, well. They're around here somewhere. Perfect Cornus is interesting, but I think you'd have to get, like, a cool setup where you could see them. I would want them to be in, like... I would want to set up like an ant farm thing where they have to come through the middle where it's a thin, like two tanks connected by this weird little bridge or some way to force them to the front so you can see them as they burrow and like put most of the food there, like the treat food. So you'd see them bulldoze their way through because if you're going to spend that much for a big old isopod. You're never going to see unless you dig them up. Like I feel like digging them up kind of defeats the purpose. You want them to be comfortable, right? You want them to have, I guess they're bugs whatever, but I want mine to be comfortable. I want them to have a good time. I don't want them to be like, when's that spoon coming to mess us up again? I'm trying to get my Hilaveria, my Brevicornia in action here, and I can't. Like Something keeps knocking me around. Because um, <clears throat> they never breed anyway. They take forever to breed. Super cool under a microscope? What's super cool under a microscope? Fago? Are you thinking uh, trico, trichomanus? Trichomonas? I don't know what that is. Kate's going deep on science land for us. Um, there are a lot of species I think would be cool if you kept them in a in a neat setup. So, um, like the ones that I have that are well, my duckies all basically died off. I gave them all away, and then what I had left died for some reason. Um, the guys that were cross town exotics, I gave them like. 30 of them because the guy's always nice to me so um that's all it took it's an stl oh okay sti oh sti there you go gotcha gotcha yeah no you don't want that you don't want the uh stis I'm trying to lay off of those these chips are like addictive i swear i'm gonna eat this whole bag but i don't know that it i don't know that it tastes like caviar it tastes like a really mild barbecue I don't know how to explain. Does that make sense to anybody? Like a really mild, like you kind of get a hint of a barbecue. I don't know. I thought that caviar kind of punched you in the face. That said, I'm kind of done with these for now because it's loud. They're very loud chips. Um... So looking over this list, what is the dream pod that you guys have right now? Dream pod. Like, um, it's a potato chip that's supposed to taste like caviar. But 
I mean, I don't know. I've never had caviar. <laughs> now I'm curious to see just to see if it tastes like this chip. <laughs> but I don't know. I know they eat it on the most plain cracker ever, just so you have the texture and don't lose any of the flavor of the caviar. I just I don't I don't know I'm a fan of the process of a caviar. Like why go to all that work for something that eh? I, I guess it. I don't know. It doesn't even sound good. It sounds like the texture alone would be a big off-putting thing for me. Um, but yeah, what's a big, like right now, what's a species that you're like, man, if I had a thousand dollars to just throw away on ice pods, like I had to use it on ice pods or I could win it on Wally's show on the, on the 12 Supreme days of Christmas, which already started and you guys should be watching it. Uh, was there one yesterday? I think there was one yesterday. Um, I missed it cause I've been kind of a hot mess with the headaches. So I don't know if it's the winter coming on or what, but Dream Pot, if I can guarantee, keep it alive. Ooh. Yeah, so yeah, you can keep it alive. Pseudo, Pseudo Loreola. That's the, that's the spikies, right? That's the crazy spikies that look like a hairbrush. Yeah, it was yesterday. I thought so. I thought so. I got to go through it and see if I wore anything. I doubt it, but maybe. Um, I'd pay someone to take all of my powders. <laughs> you need some leopard geckos in your life, Laura. They'll give them a good, definitely gigamorphs from Bama Sham. Yeah, of course. I mean, they're not even on the list. I think that's rude. Um, they haven't been captive bred, or they haven't been captive bred though. So they require a whole lot of stuff. Pay someone to take all of my powders. Clearly, you bought a couple dozen. Um, I will say, if you're going to get one of these crazy species, save up and get 10. Uh, don't go for a six count, guys. Don't do it. Don't do it yourself. You're kind of, you're rolling a lot of dice. I've heard too many horror stories just from regular ice pods that have been established in the hobby. And, and you know, I've heard stories of people that order like the big Porcellios with the Europods and they get six males or eight males or whatever the pluses were. They're all males. So they're all females or hashtag six sucks. Yes. Keep that going. Um, I just don't understand it on the big species. Like if you're getting a, one of the big new ones, you're not just going to keep it in a little box. So you see six tricolors run around. I mean, that's cool. They're cool. Don't get me wrong. If you have the money to blow, I mean, good, good, I guess there's other things I think you could do with it at that point, but, um, try to have enough so you can get the full 10 or the whatever it is. So 10 plus one. And if they give you a plus one and they're like a hundred bucks each, like that's a good breeder. But, um, I would, I would hold out no matter what species you're getting, I would hold out. So unless you're trying to slow down like your dairy cows, I'll just L'Oreal, the pseudo L'Oreal are the yellow spikies that are critically endangered. Oh yeah, probably don't buy the critically endangered ones. How does that work in the hobbies, guys? If you have a critically endangered lizard that's captive bred, are you allowed? Are you allowed? Do I need some more duckies? Um, no, I don't really care about duckies. Uh, I did take care of them, but I don't. There might be some in there still that I don't that are burrowed and I just haven't noticed. I have um, sandstones in there now, armadillidium sandstones, extra ones because I put a lot of those in with uh, with bingo. They're rightly not available. Yeah, I was wondering, like, okay, so thank you, though. Thank you, Kate. That's awesome. That's awesome of you to offer. Thank you so much. I think uh, I think rubber duckies are great as a mascot for the hobby, but I don't think they're a good isopod to keep. I just don't. I They're one of those isopods everybody wants because you got to do it. You got to do it. You, you get into the hobby, you got to get it. Like, if you're a Barbie collector, you got to have a Ken, right? Is there a point to having a Ken? No. Do you need a Ken? Sure. Sure you do. You put them on the shelf kind of behind a Christmas Barbie, and you're good to go. Does anyone else collect Barbies? I don't, but, like, people I know do. Nobody? Does anybody get the Barbie the Barbie reference? <clears throat> um, just picked up some rubber duckies, slowly working my way up. I mean, they're fine. They're fine. Once you get enough of them, they're out because they just don't have a choice. Um, what I've done for my duckies and my hiding species that like to burrow and you don't see much I've, I've talked about this before. I need to post pictures or a video of it. So it's a, it's kind of dirty though. It doesn't, it's not impressive. 
if you can keep it clean. <laughs> I take a jar, one of those big like cookie jar, clear jars, and then a smaller jar inside, in the middle. Then this jar is like a planter, essentially, okay? So I put flowers in it, plants, because it's going to be open top. Then usually there's like this much space between the, sorry, this much space <laughs> between the, um, the lip of both jars and that goes all the way around obviously fill it up with dirt till there's about this much space from the top okay you don't need much from the top you need enough to pack some leaves in there and then i chop my leaves and i put them in there um i'll chop leaves and mix them with the soil put them in let them sit for a week right you keep it really wet let them sit for a week it'll dry out pretty fast you'll have to keep an eye on it but you're gonna see your pots you're gonna see them burrow you're gonna see them eat you only have this much space to like deal with <clears throat> They're hard to get out of there. <laughs> I had to use a spoon, a little bitty spoon. Um, P expanses for duckies. Woo! <laughs> We're making the sales. But if you want to see duckies, you want to keep duckies, and you want to see them, that's the way to do it. I had a lot of success with that method. Um, my destroyer in one of those setups, too, uh, which I need, <laughs> I need to get them in a different setup. There's way too many of them now. So um, I need to get them in a 10-gallon in a or something. Like there, There's a lot of destroy in there. So, but anyway, that's one way to do uh, duckies or any of those hiding species. I wonder if that would work with Hilaria. I think they get too big. <clears throat> I don't know that I would do that with Hilaria. I think they would be too big to do that. I'm sure there's a way to make something uh, that they would be able to go through. But, um, yeah, I'm just not a fan of duckies. I get That's a personal thing. You might like them. Your mileage may vary. God bless. Do what you got to do. Be into what you're into. I don't care. But um, if you're going to buy Duggies, don't buy a six count. Don't do it. It's dumb. It's not worth it. Uh, especially with Duggies. I feel like they're hard enough to get started. Um, you're going to have a real hard time getting them started and getting them going with six. A species like that, like a slow breeder, you're going to have a real hard time. So I started my Destroy with six, and they did fine. It took them a long time, but they did fine. And then I got some from Eddie. Eddie just sent me some. Um, another like tent count <clears throat> and that really, they took off after that. Like I'd had them for a year and they were doing moderate and then they just, Pow! so, um, Eddie, Eddie Lopez, crazy Eddie. Um, what else guys? Uh, I know that the ant isopod is on there though. That there's like a species of isopod that's kind of, um, symbiotic with ants to an extent. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my ants ate them <laughs> eventually, but, uh, yeah, they, they were like, oh, there's no protein this week. So you're trying to slow our growth. Well, everything must die. Uh, see Muricatum that were disappointed because they're so tiny. Yeah. A lot of these guys, like I thought Parvis were cool for a small enclosure. There's an ant, everything. They don't look like ants beetle. They just live with ants. So they, um, they're known to like, exists symbiotically with ants, like a specific ant species. I don't know for sure what species that is. I got them and then bred them kind of like white, uh, oh my God, white dwarfs, so that I could put them in with my ants and see. I think any dwarf species would be good. White dwarfs I wouldn't do with ants because they're going to go after the eggs too much. <clears throat> the ants will be able to handle them, but they're going to go after the eggs too much. Um, they're just little... They're little machines. I, I would not, I, yeah, I wouldn't put white dwarfs in there. But these guys look like white dwarfs enough to the eye that I just assumed, like, did I just get ripped off? I just pay $60 for a dozen uh, white dwarfs. I, I don't think so. I suppose, chick, again, I don't think she would do that. Um, but it, they looked exactly the same to, to my naked eye, which I have bad eyes. So they might be totally different. Uh, spikies are small. Yeah, a lot of cool spikies are real small, I heard. So that sucks. Like macro shots, they look awesome. Um, I do want to see. I want to see if Eddie's having – Eddie's going to come on again in a little while. He's working on some stuff that he wants to share, but um, more innovations because he's doing that all the time, only the right way, not the hillbilly way I do it. Um, but he's been working on them, and I want to see how that's going. I haven't heard anything. Platyarthus is a genus of small ice pods that live in anthills. That's probably them. It's probably That sounds familiar, Catalant. Um, uh, it, that sounds familiar. Platyarthus sounds like what it is. So it doesn't matter what ants, they can just live with the ants. 
Don't put white dwarfs anywhere. <laughs> I like them as feeders. Um, I'm going to probably put them into, well, maybe not Bingo's thing, because I don't want them to get out. Because it's not going to be super secure. It's like tardigrades. Too cool looking, but you can't really see how cool they look with just your eyes. Yeah. Tardigrades would be cool. <laughs> Russ and I were going to get them and uh, from a lab and keep them in different husbandry. Try some different husbandry types and see how good they do. Which, it, Russ would be way better at that than I will. I have like a cheap kid's microscope. that I probably could still do it, but it would be different. Eddie's working on a new project. Definitely was talking to him earlier. Yeah. I'm dying to see what it is. He hasn't told me, but he's going to do a reveal on the show. So I'm real excited to see that. Um, guys, I'm going to cut it short here in a couple minutes. Uh, my head is really bothering me. I apologize. This, If you tuned in, it's because we're friends, and I love you. And know that it, it, even if you tune in later and you're still watching an hour in, uh, I love you. I'm sorry I just read a list of isobonds. <laughs> I thought we had some good conversations about it um, and still are. Uh, but yeah, I, I just really appreciate it. It's, it's been a rough day and I didn't want to just straight up cancel. I feel like I've done a lot of that lately. Um, so yeah, yeah, I couldn't do that. Yeah. I'm going to peace out here pretty quick. So yeah, I feel like tardigrades are pretty bulletproof. <laughs> you could, you could do a lot to tardigrades and they'll be fine. So, I mean, they live like by those, uh, volcanic areas too, right? Yeah, Sandy, I've had migraines my whole life. So this isn't like a K5, but it's pretty up there. Hey, Miles. Jeez, Miles is here. Holy cow. Miles is on the list. Here we go, guys. Here's the here's the list of uh, these are my Patreon subscribers. Okay. Here's the scroll that they get. This is past and present. So you might still be on here. You might not. There's Miles. There's David and Sandy. Vance. Yeah, not everybody's current, but that's fine. That's fine. I appreciate anything that anyone's done to help support the show. Um, it has been pretty wild. Uh, we are putting some of our proceeds towards um, Ant's Flagstaff. Um, thanks, Beetle. We're putting uh, Marinella our cool speeds. They sure are. Yeah, Miles, watch later. This isn't a great one, but it's good. Oh, Don's here finally. Uh, yeah, Don's one of our subs. Uh, Justin, depends on the species, tardigrades are kind of everywhere. Yeah, they are. They are. I just want to pull a piece of moss out and uh, do it there. So thanks, Kate. Kate, you stuck around. You said you were just going to be here a minute. Need to get on there. Get on the list? I mean, if you can. It's not It's not necessary. It's just super appreciated. But yeah, this, this uh, month's money and next month's money, this month is already gone to uh, help out Josh Kristinette of um, Ants Flag Staff. So he's going through a lot of stuff. So um, I posted a link to his GoFundMe. If you want to hit that up <clears throat> for even a couple bucks, that would be so cool, guys. Um, it would be <laughs> it's my magnetic personality. It is like a magnet. I mess up TVs and everything. It's rough. Um, but, yeah, go to... Uh, the, there's a link. If you scroll down a little ways, you're going to see uh, Josh Kristinette and a GoFundMe that I posted up. It's verified. It's legit. Um, I did the re excuse me. I did the research because I wanted to make sure that he wasn't getting hacked and nobody on our page was getting scammed. Um, and it's all there. He's a young kid. He's going through a lot of stuff and could use some help. So every little bit helps. He's not asking for a twin, but that's okay. If we can do more than that and bust the bubble on that, that would be super cool. So anyway, um, that's where that money is going. Last couple months went to the Virgin Islands so people could get health care. So it's not even staying on the show, really. So we're doing stuff with the money. I'm not really doing anything with it for myself. So um, I, I keep wanting to use it to fund another show, uh, to help fund another show. And I just keep taking money out of my own accounts and stuff for that. So um, I'm going to do a puppet video uh, shorts, like news shorts. Uh, that's going to be kind of um, blue. It's going to be a little blue, guys. So uh, if you're easily offended or easily uh, m dismayed by cursing, I would. <laughs> it's going to be a free-for-all. It's going to be over on TikTok because I think that's a place for trash like that. So um, we'll see. My Patriot scroll? What? Pretty primitive compared to Russ. 
Patriot scroll. I don't know what that is. What's a Patriot scroll? Oh, my patron. My patron scroll. I know. I like it. I like that everything is handmade. Uh, Russ is so professional. Mine is so handmade. And we have the little, the old patron symbol. I don't like the new one that's like a poo. It's like someone did their fist and just went, pee. That's a pee. Um, yeah, we're on Patreon. I didn't uh, put the the link in the in the thing today because I wanted it to be for this science, actual science. So, um, it, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. So, so check the link. Educate yourself more than I did, hopefully. <laughs> so, uh, we are going to have Tennyson back on when things settle down for him. He's going through a lot of stuff too. These kids, man, I don't know what the deal is. The kids and their parents, it's a mess. It's a hot mess. Um, the new patron does look like a bean. Yeah, their their symbol looks like a bean. Uh, I did kind of put, a, I'm going to put a lot more work into it. I'm making a sticker board too with all the stickers. So if you have stickers and you want to send me one for your little business or your big business, I don't care, uh, send it over here. I'm making a sticker board. Uh, it's going to be on the studio wall, I think. I, I got to see what's going on with the studio idea because um, there's so much going on in my house. Uh, we're working on it and I'm getting a new desk that I think I want to, I don't know. I'm going to see how it works if I use my tablet and my phone side by side so I can stream from my phone and use my tablet to read comments. I don't know. Um, yeah, the funny thing is I was the science guy in school. I was the science nerd and like I let that go and it shows like, like I know nothing now. I'm so dumb. Stickers and decals of plant your stuff will be out this week, my friend. Oh, awesome, dude. That'd be awesome. Um, yeah, we'll put stickers up for, is, if it's for you, yes, we'll absolutely put it up. If you got stickers for me, I'll put those up too. Um, I have some stickers made that I went through sticker app. They had some crazy sale that I had some kind of digital coupon for, so I had to try and do it. And they came out pretty good. They're little. They're like this big. They're little. Um, but I got them on everything. I got them uh, on my phone. Let's see. There they are. There it is. And there's Grizz from uh, We Bear Bears. Yeah. It just was cool. It was cool to get. So I could get a bunch of them for not much money. So that was, I cheaped out on that. Updating is more appropriate for you than dumb. Yeah. I got to update a little bit. Like I like having the... Uh, let me get one. Brandon. Oh, Brandon's here too. Nice job, buddy. We'll get you one. We'll get you one, buddy. I got to send them out to my subs first. Uh, 3.30 comes to... Oh, God. Yeah, get out of here, Kate. Okay, we're almost done. I'm still rambling. I kind of like having this as a backdrop, but it doesn't really do anything for you guys. It's dirty. You get like the reflection of the thing over here, the, the monitor. We're going to change it up. We're going to get over here to this area. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, there you go. That's the intended area there. It's going to be like this angle. I got to see what I got to do to make that happen. I'm going to steal my wife's old laptop, I think. Um, about a foot. Whoa. All right. That, <laughs> Jesus, I'll put that on the hood of my car. If you send me one a foot long or foot wide, I'll put that on the, the hood of my car, dude. Absolutely. Absolutely, that'll happen. That's amazing. You see everything over? Yeah, it's not great. It's not great. So, I, there we go. Let's let's try this. There you go. Now you don't see it. And this looks so much more relaxing, doesn't it? So much more natural. <laughs> I would love to have a fireplace down here. That would be so dope. I don't have a velvet chair. I have a leather chair. That's my leather chair. So, oh, yeah. Well, see this whole backdrop here, bud? That whole backdrop is like wicker, kind of. It's plastic, but it's like a wicker thing. That's going to get adjusted, too. All that stuff's going to get adjusted in a different direction. But um, I have too many things going on. i got to stop. i got to get Bingo's thing done first. So we're going to do a stream. I decided to do a live stream build on that uh, when it's built. So when I have all the components built, I'm going to put it together on a live stream. So um, we'll do that as a as a as a couple. No pipe today? No, it's around here somewhere. Uh, I don't know where it is right now. It's definitely around here. You gotta keep your pipe. Nope. Don't see it. I got my tiny hatchet. 
is my tiny hatchet that I take with me to get raw wood. And uh, I've had more than one person question me about hacking away on a random log in a, you know, wherever. Um, I'll use my hatchet on it. It's got a little bit of heft to it. Got a little hammer for knocking stuff out too. Good times. A little saw, little knife. This is a good little multi-tool, you guys, if you're going to be out in the woods. It's normally with my ant collecting gear. So a velvet robe, Jesus. That's, uh, yeah, I could do my, uh, I'll work on my um, uh, Zap Brannigan voice for that one. But guys, you've been awesome. Again, if you can support us on Patreon, we're supporting other people with it. It's not even staying with me. Um, it's going to other people's needs and, and uh, uh, good causes. So, or you can just do those causes yourself. So, um, by all means, you don't need me as a middleman. Like, go go do good things. So, it's the holidays. Uh, there is somebody, oh, God, I can't remember her name. In ISO Buddies, there's a lady uh, who's going through some tough and is asking for, God, I'm, I feel so bad I don't remember her name. I wasn't going to say anything. I, I didn't think about this till just now. Um, but she is, my brain is saying Wilson. That's not her name. Maybe that's her last name. Um She's going through some stuff and is asking for Christmas cards for her kids. You guys probably know what it, you guys probably know more about it than I do. Or somebody remembers it right now. So she has for Christmas cards for her kids. It's on the ISO Buddies page. <clears throat> Scroll down, find it. Emily Wilson. There you go. It is Wilson. Okay, Emily Wilson. If you can do something, it's just Christmas cards, guys. Uh, otherwise, you know, kids aren't going to get much for Christmas. So there's like 10 of them or something. I don't even remember. But that's a lot of kids to not get a good Christmas. So there you go, Emily Wilson. She's super nice. So we just actually met her, I think, uh, last week with Russ or two weeks ago with Russ uh, for, for the pods giving. So, uh, yeah, so check that out if you can. Um, it's a Christmas card or, or four, I mean, whatever. Um, I don't know. It's just nice. So anyway, find something to do nice this Christmas. Uh, maybe something a little charity. We cut back on my kids. Actually, she decided, she's five, and decided to cut back on her own gifts so we could give that money to charity. So she wanted to buy, um, there's a charity that will give, uh, for, depending on how much money you give, they send uh, farm animals and equipment to villages in Africa um, so they can have it. So if you, if you get so much, we collected so much that they got like a little farm, and the people go out and they bring them the stuff, and they teach them how to do it. They teach them how to farm the, the vegetables and whatever they bring out, vegetables and fruits. And they teach them how to use the equipment and they teach them how to like husbandry the animals. So you can buy them like goats, chickens, cows. It's crazy. It's crazy. And hope to God that like people don't come through and just eat them. Um, so there's all kinds of, in those poorer areas, all kinds of struggles there too. But donate to Elon. God, no. God, no. You're about to get banned, Beetle Guy. Good Lord. Oh, Never mind. Um, we won't get into that. If you want to hear my political beliefs on all kinds of things, go to my Facebook page. If you just friended me because you think I'm just about ice puns, <laughs> I'm real sorry. <laughs> that is not the case. You're going to hear some hard opinions about some hard topics. Um, but yeah, don't friend me on on Facebook. I don't need it. Join the ISO Buddies, the ISO Buddies Facebook page. That's where you'll see all the things you want to see me say. Um each of my kids chose the animal and paid for it with their Christmas money. That's awesome. Yeah, it's super cheap. You can get like 10 chickens for $40 or something. I'll send them like 10 little chicks for 40 bucks or whatever it is. I mean, they're already there. They're just shipping them to the village. They're not like taking them from America and sending them over there. Like they're already there. They're already there. Um, I know you're kidding, Beetle. But yeah, do I mean, do something. Find something. There's so many good. There's a charity that does. Um, I should post these up somewhere. There's a charity that's building deep water wells for the world. Um, and they found out, I, I did the homework on this too, because I always am like, is this charity a scam? Um, they found out that for $10 billion, I think that's it. I think that's the number, $10 billion. It's weird because numbers for money get so abstract when you get to a certain point. I'm pretty sure it's $10 billion. It's a, I'm going to say it's a small amount. They could produce enough deep water wells to provide water for every person on the planet, fresh water to every person on the planet. Um, granted, that was before, that was like 20 years ago. So maybe not anymore, but uh, America spends $100 billion on Christmas every year. 
So if America <laughs> could take 10% of their Christmas, they could give of, of just shit that we buy each other. Well, that's nice, but it's uh, it's crap. It's, it's, it's stuff that you just have. It's just stuff. If we got 10% less stuff for one day of the year, we could provide water to every person on the planet. It's, that's insane. That's insane to me. And is it hasn't been done. It ha that hasn't been completed. And my little, you know, couple hundred bucks aren't aren't doing it. But hopefully it helps. Anyway, um, every time I see Elon Musk, one of my brains, one of my blood vessels in my brain self destructs. So I'm gonna get going. You guys, thank you so much again for tuning in. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed just the conversation. I know there wasn't a whole lot of education today. I just know there's a lot more species than I thought there were, um, or or even genus that I thought there were in isopods. And a lot of them are a lot smaller than I thought. Uh, Uncle Sam's going to make you disappear. Yeah, that's coming from a soldier, guys. I got to watch my step. Brendan's a, a big old soldier boy, so he might come after me. Um yeah, I'm on a list somewhere. I'm definitely on a list, but uh, probably a couple guys. <laughs> have a good day. Next week, uh, the fifth, we're going to talk to Austin Austin about springtails, um, more their husbandry than anything else. So join us next week for springtails, uh, springtail chat. Everybody's into them right now, so still. So let's get into that, um, and possibly we'll dabble in other. Uh, I want to dabble in other uh, cleanup crew that nobody thinks about. So, but they're learning. So have a great night, guys. Thank you so much. And I hope you don't have to deal with headaches. And I hope you get to taste caviar potato chips at some point.